Welcome to the fifth screencast in the series, Setting Up Products, Price Books, and Opportunities. In this screencast, we're going to learn how to inactivate standard products in the standard price book using Data Loader. This is the fastest method to inactivate many products associated to a standard price book. First step is to use the Success Standard Price Book Entry File from the Step 3 screencast, How to Load Products into Standard Price Books and Custom Price Books. Otherwise, you can export the same file from Data Loader. Open, log in to Data Loader, and click on Export. Click Show All Salesforce Objects and select the Price Book Entry object. Select a location to save the file and click Next. Select the following fields ID, Name, is active, price book to ID, click Finish, and Yes. Open the success file from the previous step and remove any rows you would not like to update. Make sure the product you would like to update matches the associated price book that you need to alter. If you don't know what the price book IDs represent, then export the table from Data Loader. Change the values in Is Active from True to False for the products remaining in your CSV. Save the CSV. Log into Data Loader and click on Update. Click Show All Salesforce Objects and select the Price Book Entry object. Select the file you saved. Click Next and OK to confirm the records. Click on the Create or Edit a Map button and the Mapping dialog box will appear. Click Auto Match Fields to Columns. The column names should match up if entered correctly. You will only need the Is Active and ID field to match. If they don't, then just drag the fields down to the column mapping. Click OK once done and click Next. Select a place where to save the success and error files, which can be easily accessed. Click Finish and Yes to proceed. A dialog box will appear with the number of successes and errors. If there's an error, then recheck your file to make sure the IDs are entered correctly. Now let me check if the product is deactivated in the org. I'll log into the org, click on the Products tab, select the product I updated, and click on the related list to show price books. As you can see, the standard price book associated to the product is inactive. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.